Hey you guys, I'm here today and I wanted to do a video. This video is going to be one of my shorter videos, but um, it's still something I would like to talk to you guys about. And it's something that I think is of great importance. And um, what I'm actually going to do is, I was asked by two different individuals um one about meditation and the other is a young lady who just recently began her path into witchcraft and she was asking me what was my suggestion on her starting on this path and um as funny as it seems these two people were you know asking two completely different questions but in my opinion I think the answer that I have to offer them is something that is equally of assistance in both questions if you get what I'm trying to say um like I said the first uh young lady was asking me about meditation and her whole issue with meditation was that um she sometimes finds it hard to focus she sometimes finds it hard to stay focused um she says sometimes she falls asleep you know she just can't seem to get her technique down pat and um she was asking me you know how do I go about it? So I offered her some tips, you know, things that I do that helps me. And also this other young lady, you know, she was asking me what was the, the first thing she should go about doing to begin her journey on the path of witchcraft. And, um, you know, I thought long and hard about the answer that I wanted to give her because I didn't want to, you know, offer her any advice that, you know, would confuse her or not be useful in any manner. And um, for both of them, my suggestion was a practice that my grandmother taught me when I was just a kid. And, um... <laughs> My pronunciation may be off, but this is what I always called it. I always called it Trutaka. And what it is, is simply the act of meditating. But when you're meditating, you're doing it, well, the way I normally do it is I do what they call fire gazing. And... Normally, I will sit down and I would do it, you know, in, inside. I've done it outside many times as well. But uh, basically, what you're doing is for the fire gazing, you're going to get a flame. It can be a candle flame. It can be an actual fire that you have, you know, burning. But um, you need to do it in a place where you can concentrate and you won't be distracted. I suggest doing it, you know, alone until you get the hang of things, but, um, and you simply just, you sit there, you get calm, you clear your mind, and you gaze into the flame, and it's not just simply gazing into the flame, but as you do it, you have to focus on not blinking, you have to keep your eyes, you know, wide open for as long as you can. And, you know, with anything that you do, you may not get it done on your first try. You may have to repeat the process, but, um, and I still, to this day, sometimes I have to start over, but, you know, I usually, I'll use a candle and I'll usually, you know, go into a room in the darkness by myself, but sometimes... I like to come outside and I like to meditate in nature. I like to work in nature and you know like I've said so many times before you know nature is so very cleansing. 
it's cleansing for the spirit, it's cleansing for the aura, it's cleansing for your ingredients, for your tools, your, you know, your healing crystals. It's just so cleansing. And that's why when you work outside, often you don't have to cleanse the space or the area because, like I said, nature is just cleansing in itself. But, um, sometimes I'll come out at night and I'll build a fire. It doesn't have to be a huge roaring fire unless, of course, that's what you want and you can do that safely. But, um, I'll, you know, find a quiet spot, a safe spot, and, you know, please have your water hose nearby or some way to extinguish it in case, you know, something gets out of hand. But, um... I'll build a small fire and I'll sit there and I'll just stare into the fire and you know I may focus on one individual flame or area and then sometimes I'll just focus on the bigger picture and I apologize for all the movement in the camera but um it's windy today and I'm right here at the trees and it's just it's a little <laughs> unsteady so but, you know, I'm just trying to get this point across. So, you know, just listen to what I'm trying to say. But, um, you know, the fire gazing is just such a great meditation to do, a technique of meditation. But, um, you know, as with anything that you do in the craft, you can tweak it to fit your needs. You can work it to to be what it is you need it to be. And, you know, with this, you know, process of meditation when you are fire gazing and you are, you know, concentrating on this flame, if you're not, you know, really into dabbling with fire, you know, or fire magic, I'm an Aries and, you know, I'm just a fire bug. But, you know, if working with fire isn't your thing, you know, you can get somewhere and you can just pick an item. You can pick a stone. You can pick something that is on your outer. You can just go outside and focus on a tree, a flower, just anything, you know, just one particular thing. And you're going to use that as your point of focus. You can simply just draw a dot, you know, on a piece of paper or find a spot on the wall and just stare at that and do so, you know, without blinking for as long as you can. Try to clear your mind. If you start fidgeting, if you start thinking about things, you lose your focus, you know, just take a deep breath and start over. And I found, you know, with meditation, this is the best way, you know, for me, the best way to do meditation and be able to do it properly, you know, to actually meditate, to actually, you know, get a message to realize what it is that you need to see, what you need to understand. And also, for the young lady that was asking about it, you know, as a way to begin her journey in witchcraft, Medica meditation, I'm sorry, is key in all that we do. It helps us to focus. It helps us to see things. It helps our third eye to open. It is just, it's key in everything, even in day-to-day -day life. You know, there's the spiritual aspect of meditation, and there's also a physical aspect, you know, because with the the fire gazing you know that helps your focus that helps your eye muscles to strengthen it helps to improve your vision it helps you to learn how to keep your focus it will assist you if you're experiencing insomnia you know if you are anxious if you are experiencing panic attacks or anything like that it will help you to 
overcome that a bit. And I just, I want to add this also. If you are schizophrenic, if you have any mental issues that cause you to hallucinate, to see things, to hear things, and you know this, you know, you understand your condition, I don't suggest you try the fire gazing because, you know, it is a very, very spiritual technique and it may open some doors that you don't need to be opened. And not only that, it just, the whole fact of focusing on a light in the darkness, just, it may trigger something. So if you have any type of, you know, mental issues, you know, just, I don't suggest you using that, you know, that particular technique. But um, aside from that, to answer my questions with the meditation tips and techniques, you know, I think, you know, to get started, to learn, to be able to meditate better and, you know, longer intervals without falling asleep, you know, I say, you know, the fire gates and, or, you know, do the, where you focus on one object and don't blink for as long as you can. And like I said, after some time passes, you'll get better and better. Just don't give up, keep trying. And one day before you realize it, it will just happen and you'll be like, oh shit, my third eye just opened. You will know when it opens. And once that happens, so much else will open up for you. You know, you'll begin to understand more. You'll be able to see things, you know, and not just in a spiritual aspect, but, you know, in a physical aspect as well. So don't rush it don't get discouraged just take your time and keep trying and to the young lady that asked about beginning her journey again meditation meditation is key it just helps to improve so many physical aspects as well as spiritual aspects and i just wanted to touch on those two questions that i received and like I said, this is going to be a shorter video because I have some magical things that I need to attend to. So until next time, much love and remember, if you believe, you will receive. Bye, you guys.